the internet is a really problematic place. And unfortunately, the internet is the only place where you can get data sets that is within billions and, and millions. Uh, so <laughs> there is that problem. Even though data sets are really important, uh, there is not so much attention to, to you know, to, to asking what's in the data set, where does the data come from. Actually, the standard is very low, so because data sets tend to be really bad, we don't go in thinking, you know, is, is it good enough? We, we go in thinking, how bad is it? People would spend a lot of time, you know, uh, in, in collecting the data, uh, in, uh, for example, putting aside resources to label the data uh, and doing various tasks to detoxify the data, to improve the data. But now, over the past two years, that all that is gone. The way data sets are created is not through human curation, but uh, they use, you know, automated systems to collect data sets mainly from the common crawl. The common crawl is a, a, a US company where they crawl the web, where they gather data from the web every day and they accumulate it in this huge dump. So every day you have more data coming in. So it's like a vacuum cleaner. Yes, it's like a vacuum cleaner. That's a really good example you find really, uh, you know, deeply ingrained stereotypes represented in data sets. So for example, when you type beautiful, you get a lot of, uh, the data set returns a lot of naked, uh, naked women, uh, a lot of the images coming from pornographic sites. Whereas when you query the data set with the word handsome, uh, you find, you know, uh, white men in suits, looking very respectable. So I'm interested in how this kind of stereotypical understandings are uh, uh, ingrained in data sets. Mm -hmm. For example, here is a, the, the result for the prompt school girl, and then you can then compare it with a school boy. And you can see if there is any difference. As you can see here, for a school girl, there is a lot of sexualized content. You can see here and here very explicit sexualized content with little girls in school uniforms. And we can type school boy and see what comes up. I don't see any image that is of sexual nature. So a lot of the internet is a dark place. So you can type anything here on the portal, and this is the result for the word blonde. And as you can see, a lot of the images that are returning are of uh, very explicit sexual nature. As you can see, as I scroll down, it, it uploads new images and the quality doesn't improve. I could keep scrolling and scrolling. It's, I don't know because I haven't, I haven't got to the bottom of it, because the, the data set is large. The, the, there is this neck-to-neck -neck race to build the bigger model, the largest data set. I see the internet as a toxic waste, where people dump their toxic waste, rather than being a representation of everybody's thought. So this is why the internet can't be without appropriate safeguard, without appropriate, you know, uh, mechanisms to filter these things out. This is why the internet can't be taken as a place where, you know, uh, data sets representing all humanity can be sourced. It's not. Yeah.